So what do you have going on in your life right now you want to share with the Bird Show? It's a little bit on the stressful side. Maybe you're too close to it. So you're like, Bird Show, help me out with this. In this case, she's got a dad that is being way too critical of her husband, and she's not exactly sure how to deal with it. So if you want to give her some advice and you got some time here, one eight five five Bird Show. Kristen's got the email. Bird Show, I am writing to you in need of some advice. I don't know how to fix my dad and husband's relationship. Now, I know that is usually the mother-in-law that is the problem in these situations, but in my case, it is the opposite. My father has always been very, maybe even overly protective of me. I also think that he is having a hard time letting go now that I'm married. My father is constantly finding fault with my husband. He finds fault with minor things, like the way my husband dresses, to the way he talks. He also makes comments about my husband not earning enough or doing enough to take care of me. He has even gone as far as to criticize the way my husband holds our baby. My husband is starting to get really frustrated and angry with the constant criticism, and I can't blame him. It's really starting to put a strain on our relationship, and I don't know what to do. If I even mention my parents, it changes my husband's mood. I love my father, and I don't want to hurt him, but I also love my husband, and I don't want to see him treated like this. I feel like I'm stuck in the middle of the two most important men in my life, and it's not a comfortable place to be. I need some advice on how to handle this situation. Audrey. Daniel, um, mm. I don't know that there is anything that she is going to say to dad to change his opinion of dude, mm. but maybe she's just got to somehow, some way go... You got to leave him alone. Well, um, you have a baby, and I don't want to call babies leverage, but in certain circumstances like this one, they are. Um, you have to be so direct and so blunt with your dad. What he's doing is wrong. Your husband is a priority, and you need to tell your dad, if you can't start treating my husband with respect, and if you can't stop criticizing him... We can't come over here anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, time away from that grandbaby. That's precious stuff right there. It's like, and and if 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 you had, if you have it, talk to somebody else about it. Don't talk to him about it. Mm-hmm. Don't talk to me about it. This is the man I married. This is the man I love. This is the father of my child. I know you love me and you think you're doing this out of love for me. If you want to do something out of love for me, respect my husband. Ooh, that's good. How do you fight that? Well, Pop sounds like he's definitely going to be stuck in his ways. So if I'm her, that's I would just pull out all the stops. I mean, whatever it took, I would completely pull my heart out if it took some tears. I would just really try to get it across to my dad that you are making my life miserable and it's not helping. And if anything, your job is to protect me, not to make things harder for me. So I would do whatever I felt like I needed to do as a daughter to get that across to my old man so that he would stop. Yeah, certainly he's not being productive here. I mean, they're married, so complaining about the dude while they're married is not going to do you any good. Right, Pops? Kind of need to shut up about the whole thing. Vance, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Hi. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? Excellent. Thank you for calling. She just needs to stand up for her husband in front of her dad, in front of her husband. Like, whenever he does stuff and he's there, she needs to stand up for him. And then he's going to eventually have to stand up for herself. He's going to have to stay united team. And eventually the dad will take, get the hint. He got to be rude or disrespectful, just yeah. mm-hmm. show that you deserve respect. <laughs> so you think, like, physically, like, the next time something comes up, she physically needs to talk about it right then when both men are in the room because she's drawing that boundary with both of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's showing her husband that, hey, I got your back. And then she's showing her dad is that, hey, this is the guy I care about. He's important to me. You don't have to like him, but you need to respect him. Right. Has this happened to you before? Uh, my father-in-law kind of, he likes me, but he's always critical. I mean, I got four, I have four daughters. His daughter is a uh, sunshine in his eyes, mm. you know, so he's very critical of how much money I make, uh, what I do when I'm not at work, like, he, he's watching everything that I do. God, that, having, but, having that critical eye on you or not being excited to see them at the holidays or dreading when you're going to see them must really, really suck. No, it really doesn't. I mean, you got to expect that. That's 
that's their baby girl. Somebody's going to be with my baby girl. I'm going to be the same way. <laughs> Nobody's good enough for your daughter. Right. That's a fact. If she doesn't want to go the emotional plea route, there's some things she can do that I find people respond really well to, which is humor. So next time he criticizes her husband, she can be like, hey! Criticizing him is my job. Back off. <laughs> and kind of draw the line that way. And then, like, maybe wink at her husband to make sure, like, hey, I got, I got you. But set the boundary that way. So every time dad does that, be like, you want to marry him? Because you're acting like his wife. And then dad will slowly learn and start to back off a little bit. I do like the idea of, like, having to do it with, with both men in the room. Like, in setting the example that this right here is not, ex- Man, this is not acceptable. The Burt Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get the Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.